rating, plus 94 plus X. Image of SCP-1009 from Speaker O4's station. Item hash, SCP-1009. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. The area surrounding SCP-1009 is to be walled off to a distance of 3 meters around it. Speakers are located at every 6 meters around the perimeter of the area, each constantly broadcasting tones louder than 80 decibels. These speakers are to be checked for functionality daily. Small neon tape flags are to be installed clearly around the edge of SCP-1009 at small intervals. If, during daily monitoring, an area is found clear of flags, containment should be re-evaluated. Those performing examinations should wear ear protection to prevent hearing loss. In case of power failure, two backup generators of different make are attached to the current system, which should be maintained as alongside the speaker level of containment, and which will automatically activate in succession following the deactivation of the first. In case of complete electrical failure such as an EMP variety strike, a backup system consisting of metal spheres and aluminum sheeting has been installed, which will automatically activate if speakers become disengaged for over 5 minutes. This will allow between 45 minutes and 1 hour to re-establish containment, or to manually reset the secondary rain stick containment component. Re-establishing containment is a top priority in the case of outages. Description SCP-1009 is an anomalous area of land approximately 45 by 30 meters and irregularly shaped. This area will expand, converting all foreign materials surrounding it to further areas of SCP-1009 chemically and structurally irrelevant to the original materials and structures. SCP-1009 expands at a rate of 0. 0.8700 meters per hour. Growth of SCP-1009 may be entirely restrained by loud noises. Any sound over 60 decibels will stop growth in the immediate area, currently maintained with mechanical speakers but voices, instruments, and natural noise are all equally effective. If entirely unrestrained, SCP-1009 would break containment entirely in 3. 45 hours. Cover 4. 044 square kilometers in 24 hours, and expand to 1,000 kilometers after 26 days. The environment within SCP-1009 appears natural, but is not composed of Earth-like flora or fauna. For a complete environmental analysis, see document 1009 AIE-40. In general, flora is in bright, non-Earth-like colors and is larger than most Earth flora. Analysis of biota indicates the area is equivalent to a forest. However, neither invertebrate nor vertebrate animal life is naturally occurring within the area. There is no effect on humans within entering SCP-1009, allowing the taking of numerous samples and measurements. Addendum A SCP-1009-A is the corpse of an unusual creature found in SCP-1009. SCP-1009-A was seen exiting the area and was shot by a guard, who has been reprimanded for his hasty actions. The creature resembles a squirrel or monkey with large ears, and appears to be a mammal. The body is currently stored in the Site-8 deep freeze, and may be requisitioned for study from Dr. Light. Addendum B. Dr. Fo has proposed that SCP-1009 could be allowed to expand around a source of noise, creating a circle of non-anomalous terrain within the area, and that this might have a different effect on humans within it. Necessary documentation was approved, and D-18899 was selected as a subject. Hogtied and placed with a 70 decibel battery-operated speaker at the edge of SCP-1009. Some of the containment speakers were permitted to be moved in order to allow growth. Security footage from Event 1009-EE1, taken from the Speaker 27 station. Growth did occur around the buzzer, over the course of 7 hours. 
the D-class was seen to experience typical fear and panic at the beginning of the test. However, in the area surrounding the buzzer, large spike-like plants grew to surround and form a dome over the top of the area, which is unusual growth within SCP-1009 has never otherwise responded to outside stimulus. After 12 hours, the battery on the buzzer failed and the non-anomalous zone was taken over by the area. At this point, cameras in the containment area record an unusual event when the circle of normal terrain shrank. Over D-18899, D-18899 disappeared and was replaced by a large, dark-colored animal resembling a deer or caribou, free of restraint, which broke through the ring of branches using its head then proceeded to circle the area of containment, knocking against walls and damaging three speakers with its hoofs and head. Cameras had difficulty picking up the entity's image. The photo included is the clearest available. At this point, the attending researcher, Dr. V, radioed for help while grabbing a fire extinguisher and entering the containment area. Dr. V managed to drive the animal off and it ran into the center of SCP-1009, and apparently disappeared completely after leaving the sight range of both cameras and Dr. V. As far as can be determined, SCP-1009-B no longer exists and never exited containment. Tracking analysis indicates its footprints disappeared near the center of the area as it leapt over a route. Containment was re-established and capture protocol set up in case further creatures appear within SCP-1009.